Greetings. I'd like to um, speak out for a moment about uh, my opposition to the uh, City Commission's actions with the Wawa project across from Carver Elementary School uh, and on the broader topic of what that tells us about uh, the lack of conscience of the developers controlling the commissioners and of the commissioners themselves who voted in favor of this. Um, uh, this is really heartrending, isn't it? Uh, I had a child who um, uh, was sent to Carver because he, he qualified for Ponce de Leon Elementary, but there were some problems going on construction. It was full. I don't remember. So they signed him to Carver. Um, and of course, um, it's upsetting to talk about this, but Carver is in a comparatively high crime area. And so if you have children, the last thing you want to see happen is them being insulted, all right? I mean, we don't have to apologize for that. Uh, now, um, I, I pressed hard because my, my uh, child was uh, eligible for uh, going back to, to, to Ponce de Leon, where he was originally assigned. And I, I uh, out of fear, I pressed and we, we got him put back in Ponce. But I can identify with the, uh, I believe it's the Gables Accountability Project, the parents of the children at Carver and with PTSA. And I, I want to uh, praise uh, groups like the Coral Gables Dems, the, the, the PTSA, for having forums. This is really helpful uh, because um, um, for a number of reasons, which I won't go into, uh, but getting back now to my main theme here is, are there ethics? Is there concern, really, about children uh, on the part of the developers, on the part of the commissioners who are controlled by their money, who, who cave in to being controlled by the money the developers are pumping into these campaigns? Um, everybody has to be responsible for their own actions. Uh, and uh, so the commissioners are responsible for their votes. Uh, they should, um, this is, a, a, I think, a very serious character flaw on the part of the developers at the Wawa and on the part of the commissioners who supported bypassing and not informing the parents of that project, giving them a chance to get their input. I mean, how would, could they do that? Uh, probably to a person, the, the commissioners have children of their own. How could they not involve the parents on uh, what should go in that space? Um, and you know, one of the things that I've said is that if this whole zoning code goes through, uh, the parents who have the means will move out of Coral Gables. Uh, and uh, take their children where they're, they don't face a danger of urbanization and crime. And I think that uh, Wawa is a uh, sort of the proof of what I'm saying. These developers and the city commissioners who are supporting them don't care about the safety of our children. Do you see what I'm saying? And then in the long term, that's why I'm predicting if this all goes through, it's the end of Coral Gables as a suburb um, with all of the various changes in the residential code, in, uh, in the commercial code uh, that allows the whole city to be developed at a larger scale, uh, larger apartment buildings, larger houses, uh, larger mixed family, etc. cetera. Uh, my prediction is uh, that uh, buttressed by what's happening at Wawa, that uh, the parents who can afford to will say, you can do anything you want, but don't endanger my child. I'm moving out of Coral Gables. They go to Pinecrest, to Cutler Ridge, to Doral, to Kindale Lakes to protect their children. 